long does it take you to accumulate $1,000 cash that you're really not missing? I took out a loan to get the things for Mr. Cloakey, and I went to Walmart and bought his clothing for him, and I... I'm, I'm figuring out... I got my people, and I'm sure you have the receipts for it. I do. Okay. And what was your arrangements, Mr. Cloakey, with her? You came to her house, and you didn't have a job. No. What had you done before you went to prison? I was pending my disability. Prior to my disability, I've been a manager for uh, fast food restaurants. How old are you? I'm 38 years old, Your Honor. Were you injured in one of your jobs? No, I was injured previously in prison. That's caused my disabilities. What was your disability? I suffer from PTSD, and I was also shot in prison, so I have limited use of my prominent arm. Do you drive a car? Yes, I do, Your Honor. you have a driver's license? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Do you currently drive a car? Occasionally, not every day. But you drive. You yes. keep a driver's license. Now, when you went to live with Miss O'Farrell and her husband, does she have children? Yes, she did, John. How many children does she have? She has one child. How old? I believe she's five now. And one of the things that I see from both the complaint and the answer is that you were helping around the house with, among other things, the child. Yes, Your Honor. Great. I don't want you to shake your head. I don't want you to do anything. Okay. I don't want you to help me. Okay. This is my job. Okay. I don't know what you do is your job. This is my job. Okay. I want you to, because you say you helped around the house and you helped take care of the five-year-old, I'd like you to tell me what you did to help take care of the five-year-old. Um, I would take her to her gymnastics classes. So you would drive her to gym? Well, we would take the public transportation to the gymnastics class. What else did you do with her? I would make her lunch for her when her parents weren't home. What else would you do? I would her? put her down for her nap. She didn't have to be carried to her nap. No, she did not. No, she's five. Yes. What else? And me and Miss O'Farrell, uh, would work with the potty training because Miss O'Farrell explained to me that she is potty training at that time. So, so when I would take her out with me, I would help do the potty training. So when you took her to gym classes and those sort of things, you would make sure that she was consistent with her potty training? That is correct, Your Honor. And what did you do around the house? When Mr. and Mrs. O'Farrell was not home and they were at work, I would clean the house. What would you do to clean the house? I would do the dishes. I would vacuum the living room. I'd wipe down the table in the living room. I would uh, prepare dinner for the household for it to be ready when everybody was home. And at that time, Miss O'Farrell had a dog that I would take out to, you know, do its business. All right, so let me understand this, sir. You drive a car, you took care of a five-year-old while Mrs. O'Farrell and her husband were working and couldn't take care of those responsibilities. You took her to gymnastics class, you helped bathe her, you helped put her to bed, you did things that had to be done for a five-year-old if her parents weren't able to do it because they were working. That is correct. And then when they weren't there and the child was in school, you cleaned the house. You vacuumed, you did the dusting, you washed dishes, you put them away, you did other things. That right? is correct, Your Honor. And none of those things were impacted by your disability? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> that you could do. You could drive a child, you could drive yourself in a car, you could take public transportation, you could clean, you could vacuum, you could prepare meals, like you did, that, that was your prior job, you said you were, worked in fast food. You did all those things, but you're 38 years old and now collecting social security disability from the federal government. That is, is that correct, what you're John. telling me? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Good America. Great. Terrific America. And how much is the federal government sending you every month? I get 9.31 a month. Originally, did they deny you disability? Yes, they did, Your Honor. Of course. They denied you disability, and you got an attorney. Yes, I did. And the attorney said to you, I'll get you disability. I take a chunk end out of whatever the big recovery is, because if you were denied and then you finally granted disability, they send you a whole chunk of money, right? That is correct. <laughs> That's correct. And the attorney takes a chunk of money out of that chunk of money. That is correct. And you knew how to do that. You knew how to get that whole process started. Miss O'Farrell assisted me with that. How did Miss O'Farrell assist you with she that? She referred me to the attorney that represented me. It's a friend of hers. Oh, good. And you went to that person's office? Yes, I did, John. And followed through with the process? Yes, I did, John. How many appeals did it take for them to finally cave in? Just one. And when you went to them, did you give them the same things that you do during the course of the day that you just told me? Yes, Take I did. Take care of a five-year-old, drive a car, prepare meals, vacuum, do the floors, do the dusting, wipe down the table. Yes, I did at my you told, you, did, you told them all of that? Yes, I did, John. <laughs>